How will the new cabinet impact yields on fixed income securities in Nigeria? Emmanuel Odiaka, head fixed income trading at Unity Bank, joins me for this discussion. Emmanuel, thank you so much for joining us. Everyone is, is fingers crossed, but we think we're about to get a cabinet sometime this week. Now, if that were to happen, obviously a lot more activity is expected to, hap um, to pick up here in terms of government activity, but that could also mean the need for more revenues. But just speaking broadly, your thoughts about the significance of a cabinet and in terms of the activity that will follow, how would that impact the bond market? Yes, certainly um, we have seen both the president and um, the vice president um, delve into monetary policy issues, especially when it comes to the question of devaluation of the currency or not. Certainly um, that will show up the fiscal side of um, the equation to complement what the monetary authorities are doing. Yeah. Of course, market has been expecting for a complete government um, to, to be seated so that we would exactly have a perspective and market direction of um, the new policy trust of the government. Um, well, sentiments um, have been bullish in the market, and I think um, all that has been priced in before now. Um, the impact will be minimal, as we see, except government comes with huge policy directions. Mm -hmm. That certainly could have some sentiments. Right. Of, uh, of course, we're, ex the we're, we're expecting a T-bill auction now. That is normal. But I guess what could change going forward, especially going into next year, is the bond issuance calendar. And um, But looking at what we have right now, your thoughts about how yields are likely to trend in, in, in subsequent options? Yes, well, um, first and foremost, yields are trending at very low levels, as we know. On the bond side, we yields are trending at between 9% on the average, mm. about 12.45 at the shortest end of the curve, and um, possibly 14% on the 20-year paper. Um, looking at last um, a fortnight ago's NTB issuance, we saw you delve to about 10.15 um, for the 91 days paper and 10.81 um, for the 364 day paper. That's mm. pretty low going by where we're coming from. Mm. You know, but um, we, but we see them lower though. Yes, like, remember yeah, when yeah, we had that liquidity? Yes, we've uh, seen yields spike. trade in this market at as low as negative yield, one percent. Mm. But you know, just like you rightly said, this is driven by the liquidity situation. Right. Where fundamentally, yields shouldn't be trading at this level. But there's a f there's there's a flight for safety as banks are really not lending to the real sector. Mm. So what we have seen is that funds should would not necessarily lie fallow mm. in CBN covers. So mm. whether it's one percent or two percent, that's exactly why we are seeing yields mm. this low at the market. And going into the next um, tomorrow's NTB, right. I think we're going to see yields for the is considerably going by what the last stop with was because mm. the liquidity is still is still is still in the system still there yeah still quite the, high the bank Even is it's, 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 up. it's is um, it's eased a little bit but let's talk about the bond market for a moment here and I, I started this conversation on what the foreign investors would do going forward the the government has made its position very clear the central bank has made its position very clear devaluation is not an option for now. Do you think that some foreign investors will take that and run with it and perhaps begin to to make some purchases of Nigerian local debt? Well, yes, certainly. Um, Wally, that is a very dicey question as it is, because um, if in their own perspective, um, everybody was expecting devaluation and it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Yes, we saw some few tick-ups when yield advanced to highs of 16%. Um, some specified and um, specialized funds were in the market at those levels, but that was on a minimal level, mm -hmm. especially with the injection of um, the Nigerian bond balls from the JP Morgan index. At present yield levels, I think it is too risky to get foreign portfolio investors looking yeah. at these yield levels. It is not an interesting level. Well, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for your perspective. Manuel Odiaka, head fixed income trading at Unity Bank, giving us some views on Nigeria's fixed income market.